Syrian regime shelling near Damascus killed 16, ABC News. Now. Lamar Adam Rehab. Kate Winslet. Toy Copter Death. Tony Abbott. Pillsbury Recall. Robin Fike. Good Morning America. World News. Nightline. 20 over 20. This week. Sign in. Home. Video. U.S. World. Politics. Entertainment. Tech. Health. Lifestyle. Money. Shows. Math. World News. Nightline. 20 over 20. This week. More. Investigative. Money. Good News. Photos. ABC News Vertical Bracket Univision. Live. Weather preferences. Cancel. Set. Home. Video. U.S. World. Politics. Entertainment. Tech. Health. Lifestyle. Money. More. Investigative. Good news. Photos. ABC News Vertical Bracket Univision. Live. Home is greater than international. Syrian regime shelling near Damascus killed 16. Beirut, September 7, 2013, AP. By Barbara Sirk Associated Press. Heavy government shelling of rebel positions near the Syrian capital killed 16 people on Saturday, activists said, as U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry lobbied European allies to back Washington's proposed military action against the ruling regime. The Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said the mortar and artillery fire in the Moldachiyad agricultural area south of Damascus killed 14 rebels. A child and another civilian also died in the shelling, it added. The group also reported heavy fighting between rebels and troops loyal to President Bashar Assad around the Christian village of Malala northeast of Damascus. The rebel advance into the area this week was reportedly spearheaded by al-Qaeda-linked fighters, exacerbating fears among Syrians and religious minorities in particular that Islamic extremists are playing an increasingly important role in the rebellion. Fighters from the western-backed Free Syrian Army have also participated in battles around Malala, destroying two government checkpoints near the town earlier this week according to a statement by the main opposition coalition on Friday. The fighting comes as President Barack Obama's administration pressed ahead with efforts to win congressional backing and international support for military strikes against Syria over an alleged chemical attack in August outside Damascus. The U.S. says Assad's forces fired rockets loaded with a nerve agent sarin in rebel-held areas near the capital before dawn on August 21 killing at least 1,429 people. Other estimates put the death toll from the attack at more than 500. Obama, back in Washington after a trip to Europe that included a two-day visit to Russia to attend a Group of 20 summit, will intensify his efforts to sell a skeptical Congress and a war-weary American public in a military strike against Syria. A passionate debate is already underway in Congress and the administration's lobbying campaign culminates Tuesday, the evening before a critical vote in the possible Syria action is expected in the Senate. Obama will address the nation from the White House in Tuesday to make his case for military action. In Lithuania, Kerry met with European leaders who have been skeptical about whether any military action against Assad's regime can be effective. In a joint statement Saturday, European foreign ministers agreed with the U.S. that the August 21st alleged chemical attack appears to have been the work of the Syrian regime. Any potential military attack against Syria, however, should wait for the U.N. inspector's report, they added. U Foreign Affairs Chief Catherine Ashton said that the available intelligence seems to indicate strong evidence that the Syrian regime is responsible for the attack. The report from the UN inspectors, who collected evidence in the suburbs hit by the August 21st attack, is expected later this month, although some European officials are asking the UN to speed up the probe or issue an interim report. The prospect of the UWS. led strike against Syria has raised concerns of potential retaliation from the Assad regime or its allies. In Friday, the State Department 